In this video, we are going to discuss 1,3-dithiene or 1,3-dithiolane reaction. This reaction is also known as thioacetylization reaction. This is a protection reaction of carbonyl compounds, and for this purpose, dithiols are used in presence of Lewis acids, and a cyclic product is formed. This is an addition and elimination reaction. If dithiols make six-member ring as product, it is known as 1,3-dithionines. If dithiols make five-member ring as product, it is known as 1,3-dithiolanes. Now we are going to discuss mechanism of this reaction. Here, the carbonyl group interact with Lewis acid. The most commonly used Lewis acid is trifluoroboran. Lewis acids are electron deficient in nature, because of that, they takes the electron density from electronically rich atoms, or groups. Here, Lewis acid interact with oxygen of carbonyl, and a result, the partially positive charge generated on the oxygen atom, and because of this, the bonding electrons of carbonyl are more shifted to oxygen atom, as a result, the partially positive charge is increased, on carbonyl atom, and, because of that, it favor, more to nucleophile attack. Now, the lone pair of the sulfur atom attack on the carbonyl carbon, as a result the pi electrons of carbonyl move to oxygen, and at the same time, one proton shift takes place from sulfur to oxygen. The hydroxyl group is still in binding with Lewis acid, because of that, partially positive charged hydroxyl group act as leaving group, and leave the molecule and at the same time thiol group attack on carbon atom. And one proton again shifted to hydroxyl group. And as a final product 1,3-dithionines are formed. Overall in the reaction, one water molecule is removed. After the mechanism of the reaction. Here, one question is arise. Why Lewis acid interact with oxygen not with sulfur? Even sulfur is more electron rich and is having lower electron negativity. The answer is, the size difference. Oxygen and boron is having similar size, because of that, boron can easily take electron density in its free p orbitals, from filled orbitals of oxygen. And because of that bonding becomes stronger. Next, is deprotection reaction. Deprotection is carried out in presence of mercury plus 2 or cadmium plus two ions, or its salts. Also, silver nitrate, and rainy nickel is also used for this purpose. Mercury or cadmium ions, interact strongly with sulfur, and under the acidic condition, the diethyanes get hydrolyzed, and final product, carbonyls are formed. Next. Next is the application of the reaction. Protection change the nature of the substrate. Via the protection, molecules allow to insert electron deficient groups in the molecules. This is the mechanism of insertion. Acidic hydrogen is removed by a strong base, as a result, a carbanion is formed, and it act as nucleophile, and attack on electron deficient group. Next, after the hydrolysis, again carbonyl groups are obtained. So overall, Electron deficient group is inserted into a carbonyl group. The next is, the conditions and important points of the reaction. This is the protection reaction of carbonyl groups. Lewis acids is used as catalyst in this reaction. Copper bist or decyl sulfate is an excellent catalyst for the reaction. This reaction change in the nature of molecule, and allow to insert, electron deficient groups in molecules. Ethers are used as solvent for this reaction. Deprotection is carried out in presence of mercury 2 plus, cadmium 2 plus followed by acid hydrolysis. Rainy nickel with hydrogen gas is also used as deprotecting reagent. The credit for this video goes to Genesis of Chemistry, one of the best research consulting organization. For our services and offer, please visit our website. For more videos, please, like and subscribe to our channel, and join us on Facebook, thanks.